Welcome to Megatext. Today I'm so excited to be giving away the script. Each of these is just a singular text object and you can go in and change any individual line of code without affecting the rest. I'm so excited to show you how this works and if you'd like access just ask and I'll add you as a collaborator so you can import this into your own world. If you haven't already seen the videos on text formatting or importing world I'll make sure to link those in the description. To use Megatext bring out a text gizmo then go down to the attach script attach the Megatext script and here you'll see string one two three and all the way down to 12. We do not touch the A, B, or C in motion as those are going to get overwritten. Anything you type in there will not matter. The biggest benefit to Megatext itself is that you can create 12 separate lines that you can then adjust later. Megatext 2 is about breaking the lines, whereas regular Megatext is just about creating formatting, having the full control to change things later. Hello, welcome to Megatext. And now we've got it, hello, welcome to Megatext in bold. So if I need to adjust and say, hey, I want to add an underline, I can go up to the top and then quickly add the underline code. And now we've added underline without having to erase the entire line. So let's talk about some best practices. Number one, you have 12 lines. Most often you don't need 12 lines, so I usually leave the first line or two free, and I recommend adding gaps in between lines so it's easy to adjust or add things that you might have forgotten later. After you've written into the mega text, you need to click up here into the text box and then press enter. This saves the text, and so you could even remove the script and it will save exactly what you've written. Keep in mind by removing the script, I have now lost everything I've written, so that can be problematic. Fortunately, there is the undo button, so we can get back. Woo! <laughs> I was actually a little nervous there. The only other trick I want to show is if you click here into the mega text and we've typed in this huge long line, you can hit and hold backspace. I used to tap this backspace button forever. There we go and it removed everything. Jumping right into variables, you notice we have string one through 12. So there's 12 separate string variables. Then we have A, B, C in motion, and those are gonna be used to create display text from our actions tab. We add A in motion plus B in motion plus C in motion. You can find the plus sign on the operators tab right here. And we do that on self because this runs on the text object itself. So what is it actually doing? Well, it uses three set commands. The set two can be found on the values tab at the top. Then we use those plus signs to add all of our 12 strings together. So we do plus, plus, plus. So there's three pluses on each line. So we can add four variables to create A, B, C, adding up to a total of 12 separate strings. Then they're displayed on the text object. On Megatext 2, we have the exact same thing happening, except for now we're using a break in between each line. So it requires seven plus signs, but it allows you to break every line apart, which is awesome. There's also D in motion, so you get an additional four string variable. So we have 16 lines being displayed A plus B plus C plus D back on self. And the only difference here is we're using this break symbol. And what is a break? Well, if we click in here and we click the backspace, you're going to see that it's a less than symbol plus B R and then a greater than symbol. And this turns invisible as soon as you type it in. And the other thing you can do is if you want it to be spaced aligned, if you want it to be double spaced, you can simply add another break in here. And the other way you can do it is if you only want, say, this one to have a break, if we come to our text object, under our variables, if you go down to the break right here, we can click in here and say we want this one to be single spaced and this one to be double spaced. Well, we can come in and add second break. We press enter and now it's double spaced. For more text formatting tricks, check out the video link in the description. And if you have your own tricks, please be sure to share them in the comments below. Really appreciate your guys' tips and tricks. It definitely helps me and everyone else in our community. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. See you in the next one. Bye.